Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and it is fan requested matchup time. Of course, this is a fan requested matchup Francis Benfado versus Milo Sersev. We're actually going to do an aesthetic match. Now, what does that mean? We're going to tweak the judging here a little bit. We're not going to go mostly on muscle mass and grainy hard conditioning. We're going to go based strictly on aesthetics. Which one looks good? And I have to be honest with you, Francis Benfado has an edge in that aspect. Look how good he looks here. Milo Sersev, he looks a little funny here. On a, or your standard judging, I think I would give this to Milo. Those massive legs on him. Just dwarfing poor Francis, but like I said, aesthetically, Francis has this one. Looks like a statue. Incredible. And now we have a look at the front double biceps. And Francis has this one beat. Aesthetically, there's just no way. This is a very humorous looking front double bicep pose on Milo Sersev's part. Look at those big synthol-filled biceps, and it got even worse as his career went on. This one's actually not that bad compared to the other ones. Condition-wise, Milo's got this one for sure, and look at the size of those legs. But, I mean, aesthetically, there's just no way. Francis Benfado looks perfect here. That V-taper is just awesome. Those arms are massive as well. Looks like Milo's a little bit outmanned, like I said, but there's lots of poses to go. Now, here we have one fantastic comparison. This one really could go either way. Now, mechanically, Milo has this one for sure. Look at the lags, there's just no question. But the upper body is actually a very close competition. I think Milo's chest is filled out just a little bit more, that aesthetically he is a little bit more pleasing. Wow, these are two of the best front lat spreads ever. Just incredible. I am in awe on both of these gentlemen, but I have to say, Milo is picking up a point here. The side chest pose also belongs to Milo. Not a great pose, or rather not a great angle of the photograph of Francis Benfato in this pose. But we have to go with what we have. Milo actually looks fantastic here. His arms, as, as many people have documented, he is a user of synthol, and he actually ruined his career with the stuff. And I'm sure there's hundreds of other people that would say, quote-unquote, Ernie Taylor, for instance, other people too, they use synthol. But nobody really knows for sure what they are using. But Milo... It is pretty documented that this man has used synthol. But enough about that, because I am far from an expert on the subject. So I usually don't like to talk about it. Now here in the side tricep, mechanically I might give this to Milo, but this is not a regular matchup. This is an aesthetic match. And I have to say, aesthetically, Francis Benfato just has this one. That tiny little wee waist gets it every time. Nice big thick chest there as well. The arms are quite large on Francis, underrated in the arm development. Of course, those massive legs of Milo, they're not doing anything for him aesthetically at all. Not here in this pose. So Francis picks up another point. Benfado gets another point in the rear lat spread. Not a very nice looking pose at all for Milo Sarsev. His hips and waist is just way too small compared to those legs. He looks hilarious. Soft glutes as well. I mean, the hamstrings are destroying Francis Benfado, but of course, Francis battles back with the superior glute development. So mechanically, Francis wins this one, and aesthetically as well. Not a bad rear lat spread at all from Francis Benfado. I think I'm going to also lean towards Benfado in the rear double bicep pose. Now, of course, in a traditional voting method, I think Milo would get this one. Much better condition, I believe. Look at the size of those traps, and look at the hamstrings as well. Of course, both this time have a very soft set of glutes. Badonka donks all around. But one more point here for Francis Benfado on this aesthetic matchup. And much like a lot of these poses, here in the most muscular, traditionally, I probably would give this to Milo, but we don't really need to mention that. This is not a traditionally judged matchup. This is an aesthetic-only 
matchup. So look at Francis Benfado. Who would you rather look like here? Look at the abs. That's one of the most fantastic six-packs of all time. The way Milo is crouched there, he does look thick and powerful, but his waistline really suffers from the way he is snapping the shot. So again, Francis Benfado dominates. And we're going to finish this little matchup off with an ab and thigh shot. And mechanically, of course, Milo is taking this one as well as aesthetically this time. He just looks like a piece of art, a work of art. I would expect it a little bit more from Francis Benfado. That six-pack is fantastic, I will say. But, I don't know, there's something about this. It could be better. I expected more. But, I mean, look at Milo. You cannot improve upon this ab and thigh shot. I mean, aesthetically, of course. Mechanically, he could be a little drier and grainier. But, in my soul, he looks good. So Milo picks up the final point, but of course, if you're taking count here, Francis Benfado wins this one, six points to three. So here is your winner of this aesthetic-only matchup, Mr. Francis Benfado. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different matchup. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any other interesting combinations like these two dudes. Have a good day.